Hey guys, it's Dr. Roberts, your Madison and Goodlesville chiropractor. And do you truly understand how your insurance works? Do you have questions about deductibles and copays and coinsurances? Well, I'm going to cover all that and more in this video. So if you have questions about your insurance, trust me guys, you are not alone. I get questions all the time in the office. People just simply don't understand what these terms mean, what the definitions are, and truly how their insurance works. So I hope to clear a lot of that up today in this video. So we're going to be talking about, I think, to get the understanding of the big picture, you truly need to understand uh, the terminology and the definitions. So let's go over the basics so that you can kind of piece all this together. And by the end of the video, you're truly going to understand how your insurance works. So the first thing that we're going to start with is the deductible. And I'm going to abbreviate that DED up here at the very top. Now, your deductible is set by whatever insurance company you have and the plan that you pick. And as insurances continue to get worse over time, unfortunately, deductibles are rising. So let's just pick a number. Say your deductible is $3,000. So that $3,000 is what you're trying to chip away at all throughout the year. Anytime you go to the chiropractor or urgent care or hospital or primary, whatever health care options that you're seeking, that's going to chip away at your deductible. And the goal is to meet your deductible so that what you pay on a day-to-day -day visit goes to the next terms that we're going to talk about. And those are your copay or coinsurance. So let's write that up here on the board. Copay and co-insurance. So here's what we're going to talk about. So if you've met your deductible, first of all, let's talk about if you haven't met your deductible. So if you've not met your deductible, you're going to pay each time you go into an office, the full allowable amount for that day for that service. And it's different for every type of plan. It's different for every insurance, but let's use a simple number just to make everything easy. So let's just say your office visit is going to be $50. So if your office visit is $50, every time you go to that treatment, every time you get that service, you're going to pay the full allowable amount, the $50. Now, some insurance companies have what they call like a global fee, and it's a set price no matter what, no matter how much treatment you get, no matter how little treatment you get, it's a set price, the $50 or whatever. However, other insurances have fee schedules, meaning say you went to the hospital and they did several treatments, you would get charged for each individual treatment, which can rack up pretty quickly on them sure you understand that if you've ever been in that situation. So if you've not met your deductible, every office visit, you're going to pay the full allowable amount, which is the max that you have to pay on that visit. Once you meet your deductible, say you've gone, you've had a lot of bills or you've gone and gotten a lot of treatment and you've met your deductible, then it drops down to either your copay or your co-insurance and it's usually one or the other some rare instances a patient's insurance has both a copay and a co-insurance but it, guys it's so rare we're not even going to talk about it today so let's just keep in mind that once you meet your deductible again it's going to drop down to your copay or your co-insurance is what you're going to pay on each visit so first let's talk about copay a copay is a set dollar amount usually 20 25 dollars sometimes 30 35 but that's the set dollar amount, once you've met your deductible, that you're going to pay when you go into the office for care. So, again, if you've met your deductible and your copay is $25, then you're going to pay $25 each visit. If you don't have a copay, if instead you have a coinsurance, a coinsurance is always a percentage. And you'll see it written or talked about like 90-10, 80-20, 70-30. So if you see that, they're talking about co-insurance. And what that means is your insurance co company, if we take 90-10, for example, your insurance company will pay for 90% of it and you will be responsible for 10%. So if we go back to our original treatment here, say the office visit is going to originally cost $50, but you've met your deductible and you have a 10% co-insurance, a 90-10, then you would pay 10% of the $50. So for you, if you had 90, 10, you would pay $5 for that visit, 10% of the 50, or if it was 20%, you would pay 20%, whatever. So that's why it's important for you to understand 
how your insurance works so that you can truly know what you're going to be paying per visit if you've not met your deductible or if you've met your deductible. Now, let's go over one other thing that we're going to talk about here. Let me put these down. The last thing I want to talk about is called your out-of-pocket max. And you'll see that written sometimes, O-O-P max. Now, if you've had substantial medical bills throughout the year, there's almost always an out-of-pocket max limit. It's usually much higher than your deductible. And if you've met your out-of-pocket max, then future office visits will be zero. Should be completely covered 100% by your insurance company if you've met your out-of-pocket max. Now, most deductibles reset on a calendar year, meaning December 31st rolls around, your deductible is going to be done, and January 1st, it's going to reset. So let's say, for example, our original example of $3,000 deductible, if you've met that or you've gotten halfway or if you've not even touched it, on January 1st, it's going to completely reset and you got to start all over. So you definitely want to make sure, like I said, if you have met your deductible, you take advantage of not paying the full amount, but instead you, you pay the coinsurance or the copay. So what I'm going to encourage you to do, if you're not sure that you've met your deductible or if you're even close or if you have no idea, give the office a call. We'll be happy to verify your insurance for you. It takes us hardly any time to do so. That way we can let you know if you're close to your deductible and if you are, we can usually help people meet their deductible by the end of the year. Also, if you've been paying out of pocket for your chiropractic care because it was more affordable than using your insurance, but now that we're closer to the end of the year, again, your copay or coinsurance might be cheaper than paying the out of pocket price. So again, just let us verify that for you so that you get the best deal for your care. Well, guys, I hope I cleared up a lot of your insurance questions. If you have any additional questions or concerns about your insurance, don't hesitate to call our office. Let us verify your insurance. We'll set up an appointment. We'll have that conversation with you. Trust me, you don't want to leave any of your benefits on the table. Again, I'm Dr. Roberts at Nashville Neck and Back, and we'll see you next time.